And here we go. Oh, goes in for the grab for the first hit. Goes in with the jump in, catches him with the low. He goes into trait. Jim, 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 James. <laughs> little throwback to the uh, GGA boys. Always got to show them a little bit of love. Oh my goodness, 45% into the reset. Catches him with the overhead. Corner combo, my god, the damage. Wow, and Balding takes first portion of game two and honeybee answers right back honey so it's all tied up here uh, only difference is the meter oh, and there we go this is gonna do about 30 catches him with the jump in man those cancels are crispy oh this is gonna hurt has to clash, a little something for you. but Honeybee actually can make it so he doesn't lose any, or gain any health back. Did not do so, just let it rock. Blocks the slide. Oh, there's the tech. Is he going to trade? He sure does. Jim, 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 Jim. Oh, into unclashable. Will that kill? That'll kill. Well, actually, technically, no, it won't because I guess it won't. I was gonna say due to scale damage, but no, no. 61%. Woo! Honeybee up 2 0. This kid's on fire. So much hype right now. Alrighty, folks, about to go into game three. Here's the real question Can Honey Bee, or can, can Egg Balding make a comeback here? Given I'm biased, uh, which is cheating, but. If he makes a comeback, he actually gets his name down into one of the five. He would become the fifth person to win a CR tournament. Yeah, guys, no FK in uh, in Injustice, the original. Sorry. So no way of uh, dealing with that. All right, here we go, game three. Oh, yes. Unblockables, boys. Unblockable interactions. Jim, 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 Jim. Jim, 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 James. Oh my gosh. What? Catches him with the overhead. Oh, wow. And that, boys, is a flawless. Oh, catches him with the whiff punish. Doesn't do a lot of damage, though. Only 18%. Hey, don't mind me. I'm just going to zone over here and uh, try and keep you out. Like it. Oh, good stuff. Another 27%. Trying to keep him out with the zoning. He is making a bit of a comeback. Honeybee didn't get the confirm. Oh boy, that one's going to come out fast. And, alright, ties it up outside of the meter. Wow, this is... There's some serious... Oh, wow, what a great way to meter burn that overhead. Oh, he drops the combo. Goes for the overhead again. This time, Balding blocks it. Drops the corner combo. Back into zoning. 
definitely be looking for his opening. I am really surprised. Why did Balding go in right there? He was doing so well with the zoning. He can take damage here. This can hurt. This can put him within death range real quick. And that'll do it. As long as he doesn't drop it. There it is. Honeybee with the win. say man really really good playing really quite impressive stuff uh thank you so much for coming out everybody uh that is going to wrap up the stream for this evening and uh you know I, if you guys want more injustice we need to know you have to let us know on twitter um so that we can uh we can do more of them you know we didn't have a huge turnout but you know the first time of us doing an injustice tournament i'd say it was relatively successful so if you guys want more Hit us up on Twitter. Let us know. Big shout outs to Custom Config. They're the ones that allow us and sponsor this uh, these tournaments every week. We do run a tournament every Thursday. Typically it is an MKX tournament. But uh, this week, because of all the Injustice 2 hype, we had to run some Injustice. So we did really appreciate all of you being here. Hope to see you all back next week. Other than that, guys, mindset out.